Hey, Scott. What? Scott. What? Yeah, hey, bud. Could you, uh, could you make that journal video, please? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know, they're really, really nice of them to send it over, so I don't want to, like, take advantage of them or anything. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks, bud. Yeah, looking forward to it. People love you. Hey guys, it's me, Scott. First of all, I guess I just want to thank everyone for all the support on my first video. Spencer said that it got a lot of likes and, and comments and, and things. Things are going pretty well for me, I guess. Um, actually, Spencer and Maria raised rent by $500, so it's about $5,500 a month, which, I mean, isn't really burdensome on me. Um, it's just... You know, it's life, it is what it is. So I'm paying $5,500 a month for this space and I'm still really enjoying it. My life is great. So the reason I have this stuff is because Spencer and Maria said that it might be good for me to start journaling uh, as if I don't have enough stuff in my life already. I mean, just look how cluttered this room is. But Spencer and Maria say that I tend to um, kind of bottle up my emotions and then they all come out in certain fits of rage or anger, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I guess I just want to thank, Spencer said I had to say this, uh, a, a company called um, Bear on Twig or uh, something like that. It's this uh, journaling and pen making and backpack company or something, uh, in my opinion, they use way too much packaging. Uh, who needs more clutter in their life, <laughs> am I right? Anyway, so I just kind of wanted to show you um, what they sent me over, and um, thank you, Bear, Bear, uh, Bear, Bear on Twig, for um, the, the journal and the pen. I kind of wanted to just show you what it looks like in here and kind of give my review of the product. So first of all, it comes in this box. Uh, it's got a little uh, note, uh, some stuff about it. It's called the, oh, Baron Fig. Oh. Anyway, it's called the Baron Fig Confidant Notebook. And it's this really, something I do like. I mean, even though I don't like having a lot of clutter in my life and people consider me a minimalist, I do really like good design. And if you're gonna make a notebook, make it minimal. And this is very minimal. Um, uh, it's very clean and nice, and it's dot grid paper, and I've got a bunch of notes in here, uh, which I'll kind of run through in a second, how I sort of journal. But then they also gave me the the bear, the Bayron Twig a Squire Rollerball, which it comes in this nice cylinder for some reason. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's a really nice minimal pay, pen. It might be one of the nicest pens I've ever written with. It's very nicely balanced. You can balance it. And it writes like a charm. So these are the two products they sent me over to start writing my thoughts down in the morning. And so I've taken a really cool bullet journaling approach. And if you guys want to, if you want to zoom in, I'll show you kind of what I've been doing. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna walk you through my journal and show you all the pages that I've set up in here. Disregard the writing on my wrist. That was something that I needed. So anyway, the first page here is usually made so you can write your contact information. Um, I think it adds too much clutter, so I left this page blank. So if anyone finds this notebook laying around, just send it to me. You don't. You'll, you just ask Spencer, he knows how to find you. So the first page here, um, again, I didn't want to clutter up too much um, because I find that clutter is bad and being a so-called minimalist, as they say, um, I didn't want to actually write anything down here. So that's kind of what I did. So moving on to my sort of monthly setup here. Um, as you can see, uh, I didn't want to write it necessarily because uh, it, it just does a little bit too much and I think that it looks fine the way it is. But I have my month listed out here 
in a way that really helps me know what's coming up in the month ahead and things like that. So that's how I have that set up. Getting into my daily to-dos. Um, as you can see at the top, if I were to write anything, I would probably put like to-do list or something like that. Uh, again, I don't really like clutter uh, and stuff, so I left it blank, but just know that like this is how in my head I have it set up. To-dos up here and then the days of the week listed out. So that's basically it. Uh, let me skip ahead a little bit here. So my habit tracker is pretty cool. It's actually this way. Um, so if I were to write on this page for my habit tracker, um, it sort of just has like the days of the week and then the, and then the numbers of those days and then the different habits here. And I X through the ones that I've gotten done for the day. So it's really good. It's helped me uh, stay on track with habits and certain things I'm trying to keep up with. But again, I didn't actually write anything because I feel like that would uh, just clutter up the notebook too much. So after that, that's pretty much it. That's how I sort of intend to keep this thing going. I've already written in a lot, as you can, well, you would be able to see if I actually wrote, but in the idea is there. Like I, I want to write in it. So anyways, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching to the end of the video. That's my bullet journal setup with the bear and fake notebook and squire rollerball pen. Again, big shout out and thanks to bear, bear and twig for sending me this. Um, as you can see, I've gotten a lot of use out of it and I can't wait to continue writing in it. I think it's really helped me a lot. Um, I'm going to throw all this away, but I'm going to actually put it into this composite composting device and then plant it in my garden, which Spencer and Maria have a lot of me about a two square foot area behind the house so that I can um, compost stuff like this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of my videos. Um, again, special thanks to Spencer and Maria for allowing me to stay in their house and for the journal, I guess. Um, if you could guys just in the comments encourage Spencer and Maria to stop giving me things because once again as you can see my room is very cluttered and I don't want to add anything more to it. But I love you all and stay minimal friends. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's all. I think that's all. So much crap. Jeez, I could build a whole house out of this stuff.